Simple machines make our daily work easier. There are six types of simple machines. Levers are my favorite simple machines. Um, because they're my favorite, I made all three classes of levers, which vary because the um, effort, load, and fulcrum are the three main parts. In each of them, it varies about which of those are in the middle. This is why there are three classes of levers. I made all three and tried to change the distance. And the last one was so tiring. And I also made a table to remember about how much effort each of them take. Another type of simple machine is the inclined plane. An inclined plane is basically a ramp. However, inclined planes don't reduce the amount of work being done. They only um, reduce the force being applied because to lift an object vertically, it takes less time and distance and more force. However, to lift an object with an inclined plane, it takes more distance, however less force. Wheels and axles. A wheel and axle is basically a circular object, the wheel, which has an, a long rod inside it called the axle. I am here to share three interesting facts about wheels and axles. The first interesting fact is, you must know about levers, that a wheel and axle is actually just a simple lever. So, to recognize levers, we check for the L, effort, load, and fulcrum. Over here, the effort is on the edges, the load is over here, and the fulcrum is right in the middle. And this is why it is a second class lever. The second interesting fact is that um, if you don't use wheels, to, so I made this car with this is the load. I realized that if you don't use wheels, it actually takes 1.5 newtons of force. Compared to if you do use wheels, then it just takes 0 0.75 newtons. The third interesting fact, last but not the least, is that the sizes of wheels may vary and this is why the force may also vary. So I realized the bigger the wheel, the less the effort. And the smaller the wheel, the more the effort. So, um, to put this to test, I put my car on small wheels and it took um, 1.25 newtons of effort, of force. And then I put it on big wheels and then it only took 0 0.75 newtons. I hope you enjoyed the facts.
A wedge is another kind of simple machine. It helps us split two objects apart or one object apart into two parts or more parts. A wedge is basically an object in which from one side you apply a force and then from the other side it transmits on both the, both the ends. This is how it helps in cutting. Another type of simple machine is the pulley. A pulley is a type of wheel and axle with a rope running. Uh, there are three types of pulleys. There's a fixed pulley which um, changes the direction in which you have to apply the force. A movable pulley is another type of pulley and it reduces the magnitude of force. And finally, a compound pulley. It reduces both the magnitude and changes the direction. This is a movable pulley. Over here, it is not tied to this. This string is only used. This is a compound pulley. A screw is another type of simple machine which is simply an inclined plate. 